All right, let's see how it goes today. Jesus, it is a foggy, gloomy day. Imagine that in the great state of Texas. It is now Tuesday morning, April 11th. You see all of the various uh, warning lights all over my, uh, my dashboard. Oh, Jesus Christ. We are trying a second time to get the fuck out of the state of Texas. The shithole state of Texas, once again, trying to put in my rear view mirror after that fucked up day yesterday. We're going to blame this one on Sancho Panza. Sancho Panza is the one who uh, made me turn around and bring this fucking truck back. Probably just as well, because I went ahead and put a uh, brand new <clears throat> master brake cylinder in my braking system. So what happened yesterday that when these, when the damn brake lights came on, so I was cruising down I-10, I was 68 miles from, uh, from Houston, Texas, so I was about two hours into my trip, heading into the shithole city of Houston, Texas. And I was going 80 miles an hour down I-10, and this fucking little dog here decides he wants to get in the back seat to his little bed in the back seat. I guess this bed wasn't comfortable enough for him. So he starts going into the back seat and gets himself all fucked up, uh, you know, trying to get to the back seat. So what I did, so I was trying to help the fucking dog get in the back seat as I was going 80 miles an hour down uh, I-10 with uh, 18 wheelers uh, barreling down on me and I went off the road at 80 miles an hour you know onto the shoulder of the road and which was a very rough shoulder I would uh, demonstrate for you so what happened was so two of my wheels went out of the lane onto the rough shoulder boom 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 like that and then of course I'm going 80 miles an hour so I probably slammed all my brakes too hard to uh, to keep me from flying off the goddamn road at 80 miles an hour so I've got two wheels on s smooth pavement I've got two wheels on a rough shoulder and I slam on the brakes and what that did is somehow it fucked up my ABS system you know my my automatic brake skid uh, the fucking ABS system got all fucked up well I even have an on and off switch for my ABS so what what was happening is every time I put the goddamn brakes on I mean on, on a perfectly dry road uh, if I barely you know if I just just did any sort of braking uh, on, on a perfectly dry, straight away, level, rough, smooth road, I, I would put on my brakes and the goddamn uh, ABS would kick in. The boom, 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 uh, like this shit. It, it made no difference whether I had the fucking uh, ABS uh, button on or off. So I go, what the fuck was going on? I'd already had some weird brake problems. Like a couple of times in the past week, my, you know, my main regular brake system, you know, the important brake system, uh, one time it just completely failed. I put on the brakes and there were no brakes. And then a few days ago, it was getting really squishy. Uh, and uh, so I... I had already had some hints from the universe, so uh, I turned around, I limped all the way back 
to uh, fucking Canyon Lake and fortunately my Mexican mechanic uh, had a cancellation so he drove out to my house with like two hours notice and uh, <clears throat> we changed out the master brake cylinder which completely cured that squishy uh, you know where my brakes were going all the way down to the floor before they were catching so that was really the dangerous problem so uh, we got that problem which as I say was, was the main one so maybe Sancho Panza actually saved my life and uh, so we get in the truck uh, and you know with the brand new brake cylinder uh, we barely put on the brakes and, and the ABS kicks in so we tried it uh, with the button in, with the button out, uh, it, it made no difference. The light was off. Uh, the ABS uh, skid lights were off. It was showing there were no problems uh, with the uh, with, with the ABS. Uh, everything was checking out in his little scanner fine, uh, but every time we put on the fucking brakes. So he said, fuck it. So he went and, uh, and, and took the goddamn fuses out. And I just got rid of the fucking ABS. This is the first truck I have ever had in my entire life with ABS. Uh, but of course, when we took the fuses out, uh, the light came back on, showing a problem with your ABS. No shit, Sherlock. We don't have any fucking ABS. So anyway... I'm back to no ABS, so if I want to get, uh, he, he was telling me that to, uh, that it could cost more to fix these fucking ABS, it was, uh, I paid 150 for the cylinder, he charged me 50, so I had 200 bucks uh, in, into the job, it took about 20 fucking minutes, so anyway, I've got the brand new brake cylinder, and uh, fuck the ABS, so anyway, I don't know if Sancho Panza getting in the back seat uh, saved our lives or not. So this is not the first time I have, I have had a, a dog getting in the back seat, uh, which unbelievably did, did not kill me. This is when I, when I was 16 years old. I had been driving for six months and... Uh, going on a <clears throat> big inner tubing trip this is when I lived in Atlanta and I was uh, I didn't have a truck it was a 1970 Ford Fairlane sedan uh, I was driving so this would have been 1976 and since the inner tubes would not fit in the trunk of the sedan I literally had the back seat of my truck I'm sorry listen to me the back seat of my car which is where my dog was used to you know he liked to be in the back seat I had these um, it was two or three completely inflated inner tubes uh, you know smashed into the the back seat uh, of my car and uh, so we are <clears throat> driving down I, I, in the middle of fucking nowhere I was heading to the Ohupi River the Ohupi River in, uh, in southeast Georgia that's right I had my raft that's right my raft was in the trunk and I had these uh, other inner tubes and uh, so this was in Irwin County, Georgia, and where we come up to this, right when we're coming up to this bridge out in the middle of the goddamn swamp, the fucking dog uh, is insisting to me that, that he is getting in the back seat uh, of that truck. Like, dude, I'm getting in the fucking, uh, in the back seat, so I'm sitting there arguing with the goddamn dog, and I get my attention diverted. And, and next thing I do, I look up, 
and, and, and I'm uh, plowing into the guardrail at the top of the bridge and I hit that fucking guardrail uh, in, in the middle of that bridge I don't have any idea what it is some swamp out in fucking Irwin County George, I hit that goddamn bridge and that uh, just all fucking hell broke loose. I don't know how many times I, I flipped that car. The fucking dog went out the window. Uh, uh, the dog went out the window over the bridge. Uh, he launched out the window over the bridge unbelievably there was not a uh, a car coming the opposite direction on the bridge so uh, I was you know the guardrails smash 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 uh, so I ended up upside down uh, in the middle of the highway in the middle of the bridge I think this was highway 301 not a hundred percent sure of that so I end up upside down but guess what I am completely surrounded by inner tubes. This was, you know, back before they had airbags. So my entire body was completely surrounded by fully inflated inner tubes. Didn't have a fucking scratch on me. I mean, you should have seen this car. Anybody uh, witnessing this wreck I said there's no fucking way anybody in that car is alive. So I'm upside down, and uh, the dog's window is open, the passenger side. So he was out the way. I had no idea where. The, so there was no sign of my dog. So I kicked my window, the driver's side window open with my bare foot, and cut my foot on the window. Was my one injury, and. Uh, these people who witnessed the wreck, uh, you know, by this time, you, you know, there were a dozen cars, there were all these people running towards the car. When they said, when they saw my foot come out that window, uh, they could not believe it. And so the person who witnessed the wreck, who was behind me, saw my dog <clears throat> go out the window and uh, thought it was a child. They thought that a fucking child had been launched uh, out the window over the railing of the bridge and uh, falling about 30 feet, fortunately, into some very soft mud. So uh, these guys ran down to uh, <clears throat> pick up my dead child uh, off the dirt and, and found my dog kind of stunned down at the bottom. He was totally fine, Joshua. Uh, I, I mean, he didn't have, I mean, nothing, he was completely fine, not even, you know, no broken legs, no nothing. Uh, so the dog was fine. I got a little cut on my foot. The car was totaled and the bill I got from the Georgia Highway Department, I think it was $1,800 to fix their guardrail, but uh, that was the first of my nine, of my nine big wrecks that uh, <laughs> I've had in my life. Alright, my low uh, tire pressure light is back on, so I have 40 miles to Bucky's all right, so if I can make it 40 miles with the low tire pressure uh, light blinking without killing myself to get to Bucky's. Oh, Jesus. All right, but I have to go to my planet eating bank and get some fucking money to recover from. Uh, that bullshit yesterday okay well at least the maintenance required light I did get an oil change yesterday so I don't have the uh, maintenance required light but I do still have and will always have the brake light warning and now a low tire pressure warning 
to get me to uh, to head off to Bucky's. All right, drive up ATM. Take another fucking three hundred dollar hit to the wallet. My God.